Speaking of the race, with more than 6,700 people running in this year's 5K, everyone has set their personal goals for the race. For two women who work at Noridian Healthcare in Fargo, they say they're just lucky that they are able to participate. Valley News Team's Jennifer Titus shares their story. <laughs> step these women take <laughs> is a reminder of the journey they've been on over the past year. For Michelle Jennison, it started 11 months ago when she weighed in at 232 pounds. I gave up cafeteria food, which is high fat, high carbs, high calories, and I just started eating a low fat, high fruit and vegetable diet. Now this mom who was an extra large just last June is now a medium. I've lost 60 pounds in 11 months. Mandy Ekstrom's journey didn't take her to a scale, but to a hospital room. Just your normal everyday things, brushing your teeth would just cause excruciating pain. Ekstrom was diagnosed with trigeminal neuralgia. I was in the hospital at Nebraska Medical Center. In October, Ekstrom underwent brain surgery and doctors didn't know how recovery would go. Things went as well as they could even have hoped for. I have some hair regrowth here. Today, this is where the surgery was. There's only a small scar to remind her of what took place. I'm able to lead a normal life again. Now both women's journey will take them to the same finish line. I never ever in my life thought I would run it. On Friday night, the two will participate in the Fargo Marathon 5K. Here I am, I'm planning on running it Friday. The end of one journey. <laughs> it's hard to even imagine where I was at before. And the start of the next. I want to get back to my high school weight, which is to, to lose 16 more pounds. Jennifer Titus, Valley News Live. Good luck, ladies. The 5K takes place Friday at 630. Online registration has closed, but you can still sign up at the Fargo Dome tonight until 8 o'clock, Wednesday noon to 8 o'clock, and Thursday noon to 530. Hopefully the weather holds.